hair just needed a little refresh post run today. Welcome to my very first Halloween weekend of college. This is crazy. I just blow dried only my bangs. The rest of my hair I've just had in a bun all day and now it's curly. Today is Friday and I'm going to a friend's Halloween party, costume party, cocktails, the whole vibe. I don't know how late I'll be staying or if I'll go downtown. Not entirely sure what's going to happen there yet. Mostly because I'm dog sitting. So, got to take care of the dog. Today I've decided that, that costume is going to be Tavern Wench. I think, I don't know what it says about me that I definitely have the things in my closet to pull this off, but... I've had a bit of a return to YouTube in the past couple of weeks. I feel like I've done a really good job at, you know, uploading consistently and I'm really proud of the videos that I'm making, but it is a lot more sit down videos than I normally do or planned videos and I feel like during college my, my sort of instinct was just to vlog everything. I always knew that I loved vlogging, but... <laughs> I didn't vlog for a couple weeks and I'm like, damn, I miss it. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> Dark and stormy. That's what we're feeling today. The dress that I'm wearing for this little costume is a bright pink. And I don't think I necessarily want to go pink on the eyes, but I'm thinking of like doing a blue to pink or like an electric purple to pink. Something in that arena. Is any of this going to match? Maybe not, but it's Halloween so nobody can say anything to me. Ooh, that is pigmented. Wow. I don't know if y'all can truly appreciate this, but it, this glitter is going to get everywhere, so. Oh my god. I just, I get if you're a neutral girly, like it's always going to look good, but like how could you not want to put different colored sparkles all over your eyes? Like this is so... Period. If I kind of seem really low energy, I've just had a very stressful week. So that's why I'm coming at y'all a little calmer than usual. I feel like I am hitting that point in adulthood where you just, no matter how much you do, it just feels like that to-do list never ends or never you just can never catch a break i guess i've been feeling kind of dejected because of that i feel like i'm being really productive and i'm doing the things that i want to do and still coming up short somehow and if i didn't love all of the things that i was doing so much i know that like i wouldn't be able to keep going in a sense that like it's only because i'm passionate about youtube i'm passionate about music like, i'm passionate about these things that like i can keep going even though i'm making no money from any of it and i know it's all gonna be worth it and then it just does get kind of hard to keep your head up sometimes but it's a test in patience and perseverance both things that i do have i look crazy when i come at y'all like this like who lets my bangs pop out like this. I look so silly. I'm very grateful because I wouldn't have the ability to do all of this without like my friends and my family supporting me. So it's really, it is a blessing. It is a blessing at the end of the day. Okay, this like unmatched. I'm gonna put mascara on, setting spray, and get into my little outfit and then come back. I'm back and I'm so proud of myself, y'all. This, you can kind of see the back there. Okay, the way that I put this together in like 10 minutes is actually insane to me. See you at the party. My camera is balancing on this candle is insane right now. Okay, okay, okay. 
little baby haul for what me and my mom picked up for breakfast. We got bagels. I got this bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. Favorite bagel place ever. Like, come on, it's so good. And then we got some little sesame bagels. And then we went into this new place that we've never been to before, little Colombian place. And we got their tiramisu, which I'm gonna try later. And I got this mango juice. And it's delicious and amazing and I'm obsessed, so. Good, how are you? I'm always amazed how much they like pumpkin. They're just such a fun need them for tonight. Look, look, we got them. This looks pretty good. I like that one. This one's mine. This one's mom and dad's. Okay, cutie! We're gonna have to dust her off a bit. Right, the letters boo. We literally picked our pumpkins out in like five minutes and I'm once again going to feed the horses and the cows again because that was so much fun. So gorgeous. I feel like you want a big piece. This one's pretty, pretty big. Hey baby. My father is a horse whisperer apparently. Hello, we just got back from the pumpkin patch. I made myself a coffee and I am just sitting down in front of my computer to kind of plan out the YouTube videos and ideas that I have for November. It's about 2 p.m. right now and we have to go to the pumpkin carving party at 5, so I'm just gonna be a little bit productive and then carve some pumpkins tonight. So, kind of a chill vibe in the middle, a little chill intermission. <laughs> Okay, so I'm about to leave to go to the pumpkin carving party, but I've got book mail. I've got book mail. I'm so excited about this. I don't think I've talked about it here, but basically, no, actually, I'm just going to show you. I can't even wait. Oh my gosh. OMG. A little water damage I love. The story with this is that I had a favorite YA series growing up and it's The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel by Michael Scott. And I gave all of the books away to my cousin, but then when he was moving, he like lost a couple. So I got like three of the books back or something like that. And since then the covers have changed and I don't like the new covers, I think they look ugly. I'm gonna put an example of the original cover and the new covers here. So obviously I had to get these. Basically I've been looking for this and I think it's the right one, the right like, Copy. Roller coaster of emotions happening because I did just go upstairs and it's the wrong, it's a different publisher, so the spine isn't like reflective like my other copies. So it's going to be a placeholder for now. Since there's no annotations in it, I'm just gonna give it to a used bookstore once I get the correct copy. But I am excited that I have the whole series again. But I have learned my lesson to look at specific publishers. If I'm gonna be picky about my covers, I guess I have to pay attention because there's more than one publisher. So lesson learned, I didn't I didn't know that. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then Olivia and I. 
heard purge sirens because they said I was a camp counselor once. And, I said, I said, and one said YMCA. And we both went. Actually, <laughs> you know what? I actually don't want to engage. <laughs> like for me to invite myself to the living room. You should have seen oh, the so now I'm like, I'm I had a thousand yards. It was like just going. So actually, my um, actually, <laughs> she's a star. I think it actually what I was. You said, What are you? That was so. I got He was like, All right, costumes. And I literally just pure <laughs> living. And I go, Please, 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 please. Good morning, vlog. Holly weekend one. Mira zero. I didn't even drink last night. I'm just I just woke up so tired I feel like I haven't been going out as much or like staying up as late lately So trying to make it until 2 a.m. Last night for me was pretty difficult I'm gonna sit my ass on this couch and finish a certain hunger because I only have I think I'm a little bit over halfway But I bet I could crank this out in like two hours So that is the plan because I want to finish this before October and finish a whole other book before October ends So I've got a lot of work to do. Let's get to reading Cheers oh, I'm gonna hurt my camera <laughs> Little vlog, welcome back. One thing about me is I am having a day. Hollow weekend is hard for many different reasons. This one is my one of my dogs is like sick and she like hurt her back legs and like can't stand up so I spent like an hour or two at the vet today. So I'm just feeling a little bit stressed and like frazzled and I'm just not getting all the stuff done that's on my to-do list which obviously. But I just wanted to update the little Halloween weekend vlog. I did start reading The Once and Future Witches by Alex E. Harrow and I'm about 160 pages in it's pretty good so far. I feel like it reads more YA than I expected. Like maybe just the writing style. I'm not sure. I should keep reading it, but I just need like a minute. Like I just need to, I just need to like watch something and eat and call it a day. vlog i've been doing kind of a bad job of vlogging last night and this morning but i had a lovely beautiful morning that i just really honestly needed me and my friend hannah got coffee and i went to a local bookstore and i picked up I need to stop buying books. It's a habit. It's an addiction, actually. It's not a habit, it's an addiction. Um, me and Hannah decided we're gonna read this together, a little book club moment, mostly because the movie's coming out and we can't see the movie without reading the book. So this will be hijacking my November TBR, which I just filmed yesterday and already. One thing I'm noticing in my TBRs is that I have a list of books, I tell them to you guys, and then immediately change, like not change my mind, but just change directions. So this is now the next thing on my list to read. But yeah, I've had a lovely little rainy fall morning. I've just been composing on the piano, basically. I'm just gonna show you guys the chords of like what I have. Like, I just think that's so pretty. And I have some lyrics for it. We're gonna figure it out as we go. Mm -hmm. 